Uh, we want to make sure that we uh, demonstrate to you something amazing that's happening here. Two people just popped into the studio. Literally, they just popped in. See what I did there? That's very I good. See, that's Isn't that very clever? Good. I've never heard that before. Ah, uh, wow, it's amazing. <laughs> I, I, I know. That was awesome. Just, and we're not twins. No. no. Let's see, we're in marketing. That's why. <laughs> Right? Exactly. All right, we got Carly Swift on my left. We have got Mandy Selke on the right. They are co-owners of Just Pop In. See, see, I was I was connecting the dots right there. See how it all worked. Okay. Okay, so I can't notice, but I'm actually seeing double here. Your twinpreneurs. <gasps> I came up with that. Don't take credit for that. I, I you <laughs> just you just said that. That is twinpreneurs. so awesome. dot com. We need we, we, yeah. somebody ready okay. for that right now. I am taking you to court. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. You are more the you are co-owners of Just Pop In. Correct. So so tell us about your popcorn empire. <laughs> well, sure. Where do we begin? Well, so I think we start with twin preneurs. Right. You guys were asking us about our titles. Well, that that's it. Yeah. That's okay. It. That, yeah. Nothing else is gonna. It's official. It. It's official. You're allowed to have it. And Thank you. There's gonna be a royalty every I every totally time understand. you mention. <laughs> But you know where to find me, I like, so. I like this racket over here. <laughs> I do, too. Okay. <laughs> so what's going on? We got so, pop yes, right here. Okay, so, so basically our story is that we started in 2003 um, with our, our space in Broad Ripple. That was our, that is still our little headquarters. Very cool. Uh, it's a 500 square foot space. And then from there, we grew into the new Indianapolis airport, which opened in 2008. So we had earned a contract at the airport, which was a major win. And then now we're in the, in the center of building um, a new 5,000 square foot space in Broad Ripple that will host a popcorn bar and cafe as well. Oh yeah, and that's like breaking news. That's like very fresh news that that's happening. Breaking right? news. This is <laughs> not fake <laughs> news. I think that Mandy forgot a super important part. No offense. <laughs> what it was, popcorn? <laughs> well, popcorn, okay, yes. Okay. But we will have oh, yeah. beer, beer, wine, oh, yeah. and no bubbles. No way. I yes. agree. You missed the most important part. I, mean, I did. You guys are sorry. <sighs> the, it was a <laughs> yeah. Mandy's got a tumbler vodka over here, so we just so want to make sure. They have the best hosts ever. <laughs> Ain't no shame in her game. <laughs> Love your hospitality. We're coming back. So, so I mean, this is huge, and I mean, the growth into a five thousand square foot facility that is that that's, is awesome. That's a lot of popcorn. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of popcorn. Thank you. Um, I got so many popcorn jokes. Oh, you did. I absolutely because Wait, because uh, I'm I'm a Boy Scout leader, right? Oh, cute. And oh, I've got okay. boys and boys. I got three boys. They're all in Scouts. And guess what? We sell every I, year. Oh, right? oh yes. Oh, we, we still buy it from those we little do. guys. We oh do. yes, we do. Yep. <laughs> yep. I know where I'm going to send my kids. <laughs> there you have it. Please tell. Can you please tell us a popcorn joke? A uh, popcorn joke. Um, Yes, hold on a no second. No pressure. No pressure whatsoever. <laughs> well, I was actually deemed the popcorn colonel. Oh, that's cute. At, at, oh, for this entire okay. district. Okay, okay, okay. And, uh, and, and on top of that, we actually led, my pack led popcorn sales whenever my eldest son was in popcorn. We, we sold $36,000 of popcorn for, for Weaver. See, this right? is real. This is real yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is and, and, okay. and. We actually challenged the kids to sell to the point where if they did, we would we would eat a live hissing cockroach. I do remember this. This is real. It was this a really fear factor. I, I like this. Uh -huh. I, I, this is like I can see a resemblance in our culture. I just, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, exactly. There are no hissing cockroaches at Just Pop. <laughs> just this disclaimer right there. But I mean, the yet. kids just yeah. sold it, and and we literally had a basket of. Cockroaches. I do remember that. That is yeah. a blast. And I, and I even have a, a YouTube video I put together. That's a commitment to popcorn. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> after you this is to a whole new level. Yeah. Well, okay. I, on top of it, my, my assistant cup master had to shave his head, right? So <laughs> that is awesome. And he did that, and, and it was weird in its own right. We I'll eat the cockroach. You can shave your head. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. No, I will not let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not creeping anybody out. And guess what? This is your interview, not mine. I just wanted this is to. Fine. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, we we have symmetry. We have we have a Venn diagram of popcorn. We right? do. We do. We, we have overlap. Gosh, but I mean, who does like love your popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a, there's a twin speak uh, yeah. brainwave happening yes, there here. Is. We're all morphing. Yes. yes. Um, so I want to talk about your motto because your vibration is just off the chart, and I imagine your <laughs> motto feeds into that. It is celebrate happiness. Tell me about why that is the foundation of your business, please. Okay. Well, 
important. Do you want to do you want to start there, yeah, sis? Why not? We okay. always we always seem yeah. to like overlap one another, but celebrate happiness is just it, it's really just obviously it is what it is. It's our north star. Sounds. It is. It's our north star. So it was actually really quite fun. We actually did this. Um, exercise with small box that is also in broader bowl. Love them. I love them. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? And it was really like the most cool, humbling experience ever. I mean, it was really, you went in and um, it was, it was an intense exercise over, you know, several weeks and it was so awesome. And by time our exercise was done, we found our North star, which was celebrate happiness. Yeah, it was an unveiling and, of a verb and a noun. They're yeah, like, here we go. Let's yeah, put it together. That's it. Ta-da! But I think that um, something, celebrate happiness, it, it's just a, it's a way of life. Yep. And, you know, everyone has crumb in their life. We all go through things in our life. And um, it's just a way to wake up and, and conquer the day. And hmm. our staff, it, it's so important. Our staff also feeds into the same culture. Um, it's important that our clientele feel that when they walk into our space. Um, it's just honestly a way of life. Yeah. How about that? I lo- <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Popcorn and positivity. That, totally. that's, that's what we're in the business of doing. Yep. Yeah. I love it. I love well, it. you can't you cannot not be happy when you when you're uh, you're enjoying your favorite flavor of popcorn. I mean, it's, it's just a fun uh, a fun uh, fun food experience. It's right? just a fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it is. I think, in, and I think popcorn is. It's. It is so fun, and it's meant to be shared. And I think it's a catalyst that brings people together. Um, it's a shared snack. Uh, um, you haven't seen my kids go to town. They will not share to save their lives. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I blood, blood will be spilled if somebody <laughs> reaches into their into somebody else's. Uh... Well, you, you've set the popcorn game high for them. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a cage match. It really is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that. The MMA of popcorn. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And they also do 10 years of martial arts. So you're absolutely right. Wow. Yeah. But this is like totally ESP. I love it. <laughs> we, need, we need their training. <laughs> we need their training guide. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, going into business with your twin isn't yes. something that we've had opportunity to or or even talk to other uh, to uh, other entrepreneurs or let alone twin patrol yeah twin entrepreneurs. i know it's hard to say <laughs> um see there is a problem yeah, we'll work on it we're gonna work on it. <laughs> so what was that like because obviously you've done life together yep going into business with each other that's a whole new challenge it really is yeah and and i think that you know at the beginning um it was encouraged by um you know a, a, attorneys or accountants that were like we know you both well. We've known you for some time. We know that you're really good sisters. Mm-hmm. So why would you want to ruin something like your your good sistership? <laughs> well, that's and pessimistic. So, well, I, I know. <laughs> Thank and, you. And, but you know, and, and and we're realistic too. But um, but we are good sisters, and we're we can you know fight over something that we might not neither agree with, and then we'll be like, right. Let's just go get a glass of bubbles and be done with it. <laughs> oh yeah, you know so, for but, sure. But, yeah, let's but, drink it away. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> exactly. And not, and you know, for the the, the both of us, yep. nobody wants our business to succeed more than we do. Right. right. And so um, we have a lot on the line, and you know, we're we're our best supporters. So yeah, what That's better perfect. steward than your right. own flesh and blood? Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're lucky. Uh, some of some of the Facebook audience is channeling in Jennifer Magley, our own Jennifer Magley. <gasps> Jennifer Magley jumped in you. and she <laughs> says, "Congratulations, beauties, women power." With so many bloody uh, emojis, it's amazing. So, uh, and also, thank you, Jennifer. Uh, Alyssa Norwalk, I see you on there also. Barzy, what are you up to, you girl? You cutie pie. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best thing that's ever happened. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the best thing. Just pop in whenever you want to, Just guys. Pop in. <laughs> All right. Just never leave. Just Perfect. What the merrier. Well, you're, you guys are, you know, feeding us well. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have it. We have food and. So, could... so let's dive into the products. Yes. Uh, you guys have a, a lot of things here. You can certainly uh, reference a few of the flavors. What's some of the specialties that you have uh, at Just Pop In? Well. We, I think we have our, our basic flavors um, that are our most popular flavors are, you know, our cheddar and caramel. We mm-hmm. It's the combination. We call it indie style. 
But I think some of the more special flavors are the ones in which we um, collaborate with our, our local partners. So, for example, we do a couple different um, flavors with Sun King. One of them is a dark chocolate Osiris. Oh. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I know. And so we, we reduce their, their pale ale into our cocoa and caramel blend, and it, it, it works. It's delightful. And then we also do a um, Sun King Bavarian cheese and pretzel ale where they, we use their sunlight um, malt crunch it up and make a blender recipe with it. Um, so those those are really fun. And it's just like, it's just a, it's a cool community collaboration. It, it's a, a space where we can just lift each other up and not be too serious, but just celebrate each other. And, yeah. and happiness. And, and happiness, happiness, sister. <laughs> yes. But, <it's> so <laughs> but I think it's so fun, too, because um, we were listening to Susan Decker earlier. And it's, it is. it is It's so important. Like, we knew when we were starting Just Pop In that there were three things that were going to be the base of what our business was going to consist of. And it, part of it was staying true to, to ourselves and staying true to our culture, um, but creating a delicious project, a product that isn't just delicious when you eat it, but you you I think you eat with your eyes first. And mm-hmm. so we wanted the art of our of our product to just be beautiful. Um, but then also be, being able to collaborate with our community is just so huge. And we just love the food movement that Indianapolis has had. And so um, – Mandy and I are both pescatarians, and so I love this that Mandy really took one for the team. We love Chrissy Lee with the smoking goose, yep. and we wanted to collaborate on a popcorn utilizing their bacon. And it was what it was one of the <laughs> you're more about to fall out of your chair. <laughs> and, oh, you're you're welcome. You're welcome because they're like they're in arm's reach. Oh um, my gosh, they're right there. Yeah, yeah. But it was a four but, month process to 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 perfect that recipe, and we haven't eaten red meat in twenty plus years, but. I was like, Mandy, she's going for the darn team. It. <laughs> We're going to perfect this. So it was kind of like my and eating good too, cockroach it? moment, like to yeah. your yes. bacon or, you know, yeah. to whatever. But but uh, it, it is so good. Don't, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I know I should not compare. No, no, no. no. But I, I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to have to have you eat a little bit more of that bacon just to get, <laughs> come over to the it dark so side. Good. They are right. awesome. <laughs> I want to talk about your growth, too, because it's been consistent, and now you're just really – Popping off like it's just taken off. Oh, like there it is! Popping off. Popping off. Popping off. We this did so it. Cute. Um, so your clients include IndyCar, PGA, NCAA, Christian Dior, Nylon Magazine. What has that support been like? Because I imagine as a twinpreneur, that has to be really kind of awesome to have those sorts of people come in as clients, right? Well, it is, and a lot of it's been word of mouth, which is even, which is, I feel, the best method. Um, We didn't necessarily have um, connections or, you know, strings weren't being pulled. We literally just popped their socks off into our partnership. She did one, too. I did it. It's great. She just did it. It's so easy to fold into (laughs) it. It is. Yeah. But, you know, these companies um, will hire us to do... Um, they, they hire us to almost serve as a promotional vehicle right. for their own company. So, you know, for example, when we do um, the Vera Bradley betting, when they when she does a Vera Bradley, right. Vera Bradley, Vera, Vera Bradley. Bradley betting launch. It's a mouthful. It's the vodka. Like, um, <laughs> sorry, everyone. Um, but but it's, it's so intriguing. So, you know, they'll say, well, gosh, can you match the popcorn to this mm-hmm. to this logo and we will literally spend lots of hours in our little popcorn lab and just trying to make that specific color to match what her bedding line will be um and you know obviously purses and bedding have nothing to do with popcorn but it's such a fun way to yep. celebrate and a, a memorable way to celebrate yeah. and a delicious way to celebrate a launch like that so are we talking customized Customize popcorn to uh, to brand goals. Is that yes. what we're saying here? Yes, we, we do. We do. Wow. We um. We, we were an orange and blue. Uh, <laughs> bag of popcorn. I mean, it's it's really quite fun. I mean, before Mandy and I, before just pop in, we we worked for a corporate company, but we would do a lot of interior painting right. and um, kind of design on the side and whatnot. So art has always been extremely important to just pop in. Um, well. And, to Mandy and I, um, and so it was. It, it was just really cool. I mean, just getting a call from um, Nylon Magazine and them getting ready to launch um, Mystery Dior's perfume in Santa Monica or Santa Barbara, Santa mm-hmm. Monica. Santa Monica. Yes, and them wanting to utilize. Um, it was the cool, like classic. I loved your logo. Utilizing our popcorn, and then they 
promoted it as wow. their launch with Cherie Dior's popcorn or <laughs> perfume. <laughs> but um, I mean, it's just it's just those kinds of things that really keep our business so interesting, and it's it's we're just so, we're so proud of it. <laughs> yeah, very we're proud cool. of our partnerships. <laughs> So, I mean, that, that is something very unique is that you can actually be utilized in in product launches and, and you know, home, hotel amenities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's, there's something that usually most products are aspiring to be. It just naturally fits is that it's an easy consumable. Almost everybody loves this you know, and, 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 and will enjoy popcorn. Is there's You've got utility you've got a, a a a great emotional connection and other other brands can can adopt your your product to really connect with their own brand loyalists and connect with happiness absolutely so i mean there's there's a there's a whole other route <laughs> to affect people by other people's brands as well. That's really, Absolutely. really cool. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much. I get it. We just well, Thanks. that's so awesome. And so I think that with um with going back to your question with the growth, I just think it was um, you know, when we started our small little space in Broad Ripple and then getting the opportunity to earn a contract at the airport, it was just such a it was such a big win for us young girls at that time. Um, but we earned best new retail concept in um in North America that same year when we opened, which hmm. was a huge, you know, that's a good year. Vehicle. That was, well, it was we were, we, and we had no idea. We ended up like going to this awards thing and just attending, and we're like, "What us?" <laughs> um, but I think that you know the exposure at the airport has been wonderful for us nationally and internationally. Um, but we're just so proud to be at the airport and be a gateway into our awesome city of Indianapolis. Hmm. You've also been recognized as a really great gift option by Brides Magazine and Weddings Illustrated. Why should people utilize this as a gift opportunity as well? Like, why does it make such a good gift, in your opinion? Well, a a couple different things. And and I think our popcorn is used in a few different ways with the brides. Um, But specifically, it was being used for when um, guests would show up to a hotel um, it would be in their in their little you know goodie bag, and so it, it also served as an amenity um, for the guests in their hotel. But also, um, I think it's special that we we do a customizable um, bride and groom, and it's it's a it's a not cheesy caricature of the bride and groom um, with their date and their name, and there's just something kind of fun that that has something that's very committed and dedicated to their mm-hmm. special day. Sentimental, yeah, yeah, I love that. That's so cute. I love that. I wish I would have gotten one of those. Like, That's okay. We're all going to be married soon. So don't worry. Fine. We're moving in. Yeah. I don't know if anyone knew that, but we're moving into her house. Yeah. There was a, Sorry, there was a conversation uh, before we went live. And uh, Ryan, be very afraid, is that Ryan, you're, you're about to be a Manny. Um, to dogs you're gonna and love children. It. For dogs you're going to love us. You, yes. yes. And don't you're, wait. Don't wait up. You're going to love okay. our kids. It's going to be amazing. Yes. Wow. Um, I'm sorry. Just, <laughs> just letting you know. All right. So, hey, you two are deeply and authentically involved with the indie community. Along, You worked alongside proud partners of various organizations that offer invaluable services, such as the Damien Center, Indiana AIDS found, uh, Fund, Habitat for Humanity, the Julian Center, and the Patashu Foundation. Mm-hmm. Um, where does all that passion come from? That's a good question. Um, well, I can definitely speak to, um, again, when we started Just Pop In, we knew that um, having a platform to be advocates for HIV AIDS was extremely important to us. Our family was affected by HIV AIDS and um, when we were young. And um, it's just something that is just so necessarily important. Um, and sometimes people can shy away from the discussion. And it's just important that we can actually have a for-profit company, but we can do and help non-for-profit companies like the Damien Center um, and just help continuing to get the word out that it still exists and it's still something that we need to continue fighting for to find an end to HIV AIDS. Very dedicated. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, we appreciate that greatly. I mean, just speaking on behalf of, of the Indianapolis community, um, it's amazing to see what an organization such as yourself is doing, um, because you're not looking for a, a heck of a lot of notoriety. You're 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 helping because it's the right thing to do, and you're wanting to to move positivity in 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 Indianapolis with all of these outreaches that you're doing. So thank you so much for doing thank that. Thank you so thank much. You. No? That means we a lot. Appreciate that. 
More than welcome. I don't know if I can actually speak for the Annapolis community, but I I'm going to I, anyway. I, I, I let you, so. <laughs> well, thank you. That just happened. You're welcome in the Annapolis community. <laughs> um, Very cool. I guess what I want to know is what do you want viewers and listeners who aren't familiar with Just Pop In to know about Just Pop In? And if they haven't already tried your popcorn, where should they start? What flavors do you think they should dabble with first? That is such a great question. Yes. Yeah, you know, I always say like begin with the classics, um, like our the plain popcorn, just the the buttery, salty popcorn, um, indie style. Um, it's by far most popular, but but not necessarily the most um, um, intriguing, I guess, of the, of the bunch. Um, but a few of my favorite flavors, um, one that we're just so super proud of, is our, our Bloody Mary popcorn. It has nine different natural ingredients in it, like Worcestershire, Ooh. however you say that, yeah, Worcestershire, yeah. Worcestershire <laughs> yeah. horseradish, um, garlic powder, celery seed, different forms of um, dehydrated peppers. Heck and, yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and it's like, <laughs> that is awesome. And, and popcorn, it's a, it's a tricky thing, you know, where people ask, well, why didn't you come up with this or why don't you try this? Popcorn is such a, it's such a sensitive little kernel. Kernel. Yeah. Oh, you're oh, sensitive. sensitive. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> that's the first word I think of. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But yeah, but you know, popcorn is very sensitive. And so it can, and it, it, there's only so much uh, ingredients that can adhere to a kernel. And so it's a very scientific method to make sure that we get the textures just right, oh, wow. the ingredients are just right. Um, it's like, I mean, they're like sponges otherwise. So, um, but, that, but in terms of, of flavors, um, those are a couple of my favorites, the savories. Um, and then we also do like a, a double dark chocolate Merlot sea salt. Oh, um, we did. <laughs> Dear for, goodness. For, yeah, for, for our sweets and, oh. our, and a white chocolate peanut butter. Um, wow. Yeah, there, there's, there's loads of different flavors that we do, but I think that there's something for everybody. Yeah. I agree, Amanda. Well, I'm more of a savory than I am a sweet. My trouble, Amanda. I just, Amanda, get, I just get the Amanda. You are in. Okay. You know what? Um, we just went official real quick. <laughs> I love it. Wow. So there's a formal there's a formal uh, discussion of product here now. <laughs> I love it. Well, I personally love the I uh, the chocolate that I probably love the most is it's we call it lemony snackets and it's a lemon that is precious. That's <laughs> awesome. Everything has to be so cute. Um, so lemon popcorn covered in white chocolate and then it has a um, a uh, lime, le- a lemon sea salt like zest, so it's it's sweet oh. and salty at the same wow. time. That's... But it it is just it's refreshing. Um, that will be coming back out in spring. Um, and they're doing, I, they're doing seasonal stuff too. Oh yes, <laughs> we have to have seasonal stuff. You got to wow. keep like you know, it's like you know, like our chocolate mint. You have to have back something to live the... for. You have to wait wait it out. <laughs> I know, and this is it. Uh, <laughs> but we do what we do a popcorn with um, basbo. It's a tomato basil, and that is one of my all time wow. favorites. But I I love. Like, my very favorite savory is our beer cheese. I think it is just, like, I could eat it every day. And then doing then the product with Sun King, the um, the Bavarian cheese mm-hmm. and pretzel ale, it has, like, a little bit of the, the, those notes to it. Did you it. happen to bring that with you? Oh, oh, we just happened to. Oh, we sure did. <laughs> I know. You're welcome. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And I think we brought spicy ginger curry, too, which is, like, my oh, all-time favorite savory. The best. Yeah. So we try to oh develop boy. flavors based upon what we like to eat. Sure. And like Mandy said, it doesn't always work, but we but we try like for the ball and biscuit, we did a Sazerac popcorn for them. And it, I mean, it's awesome. We make it with um, booze and um, <laughs> the most important and, ingredient. Uh, what I'll, I can just stop Smoke right there. Smoked sea salt <laughs> and yeah, some orange um, liqueur. Wow. Yeah. It's, a, it's a busy little number. It is a busy yeah. little number. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> But what do we want people to know about us? I mean, just everything that we we talked about, our our company culture, which means so much to us. Um, We're so grateful that we have a a staff that really wants to also inspire and celebrate our culture. Um, But in terms of our our new build coming up um, and what we want you to know about that – is we should be open in spring. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna, it's going to be a popcorn bar and cafe, and so we'll have our popcorn bar and we'll have the walk up method. But then we're also going to have oh, um, hold on popcorn bar, 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 bar. and cafe. Yes, yes. bar, I bar, well, bar. I, Amanda, I don't know why you're glossing <laughs> I, over that. Oh my god! See, that's why she glossed over. It. That's I'm why you called her Amanda. So <laughs> I'm glossing over <laughs> the important there stuff. There we go. There we go. Right, exactly. Boom. 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 Okay. <laughs> but, so we'll have beer, wine, and bubbles. And then we're also going to do some small plates and and work with some of our, our local friends and in terms of cool. their um, their crafts and 
um, invite that into our space. And so, wow. and, and we'll have a nice um, wraparound porch, an outdoor fireplace. Oh it's my just going to be a. Hey, a, that's hey. where we should live. Hey! <gasps> Mm, this is going to be exciting. Tell, tell hubby that he just got the boot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tell him he's going to have to get the U-Haul truck. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> That's happening. Sorry, Manny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know what we've created here. <laughs> <laughs> the best monster there ever was. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. So we certainly want everyone to just pop in. To, uh, this is such a cool oh, day. Oh, oh, I'm just saying. Just pop in. Just pop in popcorn.com <laughs> if we can throw it up on screen. <laughs> Just pop in popcorn.com and on Facebook, uh, just pop in. Uh, Twitter, just pop in online. Instagram, just pop in. Um, ladies, uh, can I ask you to share maybe a word of wisdom on uh, for aspiring entrepreneurs in Indianapolis? What guidance would you give them? I, well, uh, as opposed to yeah. bring a twin along because a lot of people don't have that oh, ability. That's, 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 they that's don't have the, the Amanda's. Dream, that's true. dream crushing <laughs> yeah. right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> dream crush. <laughs> You know, I, I feel like we always say this, just staying true to who you are. I think sometimes it's just so easy to start comparing yourself to other companies and to other businesses mm-hmm. and to other models and to this and, and that. I think that just staying with your core and and your culture and and really just being reminding yourself of, of the heart and why you started this, mm-hmm. um, I just feel like you just can't go wrong when you are just always growing and always nurturing, but just staying true. Mm-hmm. Staying true. Um, I always say, you know, at the beginning, it's so easy to be an open suggestion box. Everyone gives you a lot of the you should. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. And it's easy to want to um, satisfy requests. But I think with that, you can get very lost. So I think just staying, like Carly said, to your core, um, because you believe in it. That's why you're beginning it in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. So wise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit overclamped right now. Colonel. Here's a cockroach. <laughs> Here you go. I'm a, a, a cockroach. I'm a sensitive I have colonel. It in my pocket. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you so much Thank for you. the time and, so and bringing fun. such a great energy in, into our studio. We really appreciate oh, it. I know you. I just met you today, but I love you. That I know. We well, love you too. We're, we're going to be roomies. We're, I know. We're, we're roomies. So, <laughs> of course, there's going to be a lot of love happening. Yes, there is. Okay. They, yep. they're, bring, they're bringing their best game because they knew this. You know, yes, you, exactly. You, you realize they, they have yeah. a twin fight too that yeah. you haven't seen yet. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. I'm ready yeah. for it. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Like, I hope that we get to share a room, is what I'm saying. Okay. But we can talk about that. Okay. <laughs> all right. So for for all of our audience, please check out Just Pop In uh, Popcorn and and check out all of our guests that we interview on a regular basis at Edge of Indy. Uh, we certainly want you to lift up and 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 choose local and choose local often. They they earn their living from your dollars, and obviously they are so plugged into the community. Um, you can affect so much greater uh, uh, love and and energy in this or in into the city if you just choose local regularly. So, for all of us here, uh, and I'll speak for Brittany because she's she's linking with her twins now. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and be sure to stay tuned next week as we're going to be interviewing a whole other uh, uh, series of segments of of interesting entrepreneurs and movers and shakers. So, uh, thank you so fo- so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye bye.